Hello, shipmates. I'm Vice Admiral Forrest Faison, your Surgeon General. I want to talk to you today for a few minutes about something you've heard about in the news recently, the Zika virus. And I want you to know Navy Medicine is actively engaged on this to protect you and your family. The Zika virus is spread by mosquito bites in some countries of the Western Hemisphere. There is currently no vaccine or treatment. The symptoms include fever, red eyes, muscle pain, joint pain, rash, and headache, and can last from three to seven days. Not everyone who is infected with the Zika virus will have symptoms. In pregnant women, the Zika virus has been linked to infants born with birth defects. What does this mean to you? As members of our Navy and Marine Corps family, nothing is more important to us than your health and safety and that of your family. My Navy medicine team is working tirelessly with the Centers for Disease Control and other national experts to ensure we are providing the best and latest information and care to you and your family. Across Navy medicine, we are following the most recent CDC guidelines. Prevention is the best way to avoid infection. Avoid unnecessary travel to affected countries. When you're outside, cover exposed areas with long sleeve clothes and pants and use insect repellent frequently. I need to talk to you about sexual activity. The Zika virus has been shown to be transmitted sexually from infected men to their sexual partners. For pregnant women, please ask about your partner's travel history and practice safe sex with correct condom use. If you are a man and have traveled in an affected area, please practice safe sex with your partner. When planning your travel, if you're pregnant, consider postponing unnecessary travel until after you deliver. If you must travel, take appropriate precautions. These include staying in air-conditioned facilities whenever possible with closed windows, sleeping in beds with mosquito nets, wearing long clothes when outside, and frequently using insect repellents. My team of experts is working tirelessly on this situation and is in frequent contact with every Navy and Marine Corps medical department and facility around the world. Every healthcare provider in the Navy and Marine Corps afloat and ashore, has been provided the latest information and treatment recommendations. If you would like additional information, please see your health care provider or log on to the Navy and Marine Corps Public Health Center website or the CDC website. The bottom line is this. Be smart about your travel and your travel precautions. Be smart about your personal protection. Be smart about your sexual activity. If you have symptoms or questions, go to medical. If we're smart and do what is necessary to protect ourselves, we can avoid infection, stay healthy, and complete our mission. And remember this, should you need help or have questions, Navy Medicine is there for you.